is Cobbett Square. Previously on Last Stop. The only way this is going to work is if we... Why don't you just go to the doctor? Well, Molly's got a point, John. I mean, we can't be the first case of something like this. I just can't think I would be treated seriously. You're not putting mustard on that, are you? You've got Jack's allergies now, Dad. Sorry, I keep forgetting. <laughs> I'm going to end up killing myself one of these days. Sorry, mate. Anne of Cleves. Catherine Hepburn. It can't hurt to go to the GP about this. You're both wrong. Maybe there's other people we could see as well. You know, people who specialise in the mind. Like a brain surgeon. Maybe. Or a therapist. Like that shop near the tube station. Uh, that's psychic love, not, not psychology. They're different. Hang on, though. Molly might be onto something there. Yeah, I might be onto something. Desperate times demand desperate measures. We shouldn't be closed off to any potential situation. Fine. Add it to the list. It says Abelin was beheaded f for a fornication. What's fornication? You know how we talked about sex, don't you, Molly? No. <laughs> well, I, I need to see a man about a dog, I think. We'll see you tonight, yeah, Mum? With any luck, we'll be back in our own bodies by dinner time. Bye, Dad. See you later, Jack. So, I've got a list. Uh, we've got an appointment with your GP, Dr. Aji Bolla, and then we're seeing that therapist I found online. Aren't you forgetting something? Yeah. Yeah, we are going to have our aura swim too. I haven't forgotten. You know, there is one good thing that you got going for you. Am I going to want to hear this? I love the way you say bastard. He's got a nice tombra. Bastard. <laughs> Great. Go on, let, let's see you say it for comparison. Chat, mate. You're an idiot. Take the compliment. John, good to see you. And who is this we have with us? Oh, hello, Doctor. This is my nephew, Jack. Pleased to meet you, Jack. So, how can I help you both? How's your heart, John? My heart? There's nothing wrong with my heart, is there? No, 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 it's, it's not that. It's a bit of a delicate matter. Don't worry. There isn't much you could say which could shock me at this point. I wouldn't be too sure about that. Well, what do you know about living outside of your own body? You mean like a feeling of disassociation, not being in control? Yes, exactly. OK, the truth is... The truth is... I'm him, and he's me. Our bodies got switched somehow. I'm John. And I'm Jack. Fellas, you realise April Fool's Day was months ago. So there's nothing you can do for us? John, come back in two months as we agreed for your regular checkup. Jack, it was nice to meet you. Well, looks like I'm going to have to find a new GP. OK, burnt that bridge. What's next on the list? Ah, a psychologist. Should be interesting. What did the doctor mean when he brought up that thing about your heart? Have you been ill? Well, I had 
a mild heart attack a few months back. I mean, it sounds worse than it is. Just spent a couple of days in hospital and now I just have to watch my cholesterol. Pretty normal, really. It's, it's nothing that serious. Jesus, John, that's about as serious as it gets. I'll be all right. Well, you'll be all right. <laughs> right, well, look, no more junk food from now on. I'll cook tonight. No, you haven't seen me in the kitchen, have you? I mean, you know, I don't want to brag, but I'm like a culinary wizard. I can't take all the credit. It's the French jeans. Thanks, Jacques. I'm looking forward to it. C'est la vie, Jean. Eh? C'est la vie. Oui. Hello. You're both related, is that right? Yeah, he's my nephew. OK. Well, nice to meet you both. Before we get started, I'd like to go through the different options we have available today, OK? Sure. So my family therapy package starts at £250 per hour. Bloody daylight robbery! Well, on the bright side, you know where we're going next, don't you? All right, lads. Can I help with anything? Actually, yeah. My friend here is going to explain it to you. Isn't that right, Jack? All right, listen. Uh, <laughs> sorry, what's your name? Ron. Right, listen, Ron. We have got a little bit of an odd one here, but by the looks of this place, maybe it's right up your street. I'm listening. OK, so the long and the short of it, well, <laughs> we've swapped bodies. Me and him. My next-door neighbour. It's true. Well, technically, he lives across the road. Ever heard of anything like this before? Body swapping. OK, he thinks we're mental. That's perfect! What? I've read so much about this. You've seen this before? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Seriously? Come on, come to my office. Let's see if we can sort this out. Well, all right. Here, sit yourself down, lads. I'll be with you in a moment. This where the magic happens? Uh-huh. Must be more common than we thought. Oh, yeah. The world's definitely not what you think, lads, let me tell you. So, what happens next, then? How's this all work? Right. You must have heard about the secret alien portals that are buried under London. Uh, no. Look, is there some sort of medicine we can take, or...? Ah, oh, mate, you should look it up. Seriously. Everyone knows about it. It's not even a conspiracy at this stage. Ron? Hi. We were just wondering what we do next. Do we just sit here? One second, lads. I'm almost ready. And welcome back to another episode of Behind the Curtain, brought to you by Harvey's Razors, the closest killer shaver man can get. Now, before we get into today's topic, remember to share this video with your friends and smash that like button. Okay, so today we have two special guests who are here to talk about their tragic tale of how they swap brains. Jack, John. Why don't you introduce yourselves? Okay, they're gone. Well, that's everyone we have booked in. We're gonna have to think really hard what our next approach is, Jack. I'm kind of running out of ideas. I've got one. All right, go on. Up. Totally bought into that last guy. I thought that was it, you know? I'm such a monk. Gotta admit, you had me for a moment. Seems like we have to up our game next time, Jack. Yeah. You know, I can't actually remember the last time I went to the pub. 
piss off. Don't believe you. You're like the kind of guy who was born in a pub. But you grew up playing the fruit machines, blindfolded, whilst eating pork scratchings, doubting warm ale. <laughs> Am I that much of a cliche? Well, I can't lie, I do miss it sometimes. But I'm at a different stage of life now. Okay. Can I ask you something? Let's hear it. I mean, not that this is any of my business or anything. Where's Molly's mum? You never mentioned her. I'll have to get a few more beers down me before we go into all of that. <laughs> okay. Hey, look. I've got a piano here. You play? Mate, do I play? Okay, I'll continue playing this. You just join in when you want. What is it? I don't know. Just making it up as I go along. Come on, you play the top line, man. Just, just make something up. Yeah, well, I hope we're not pissing everyone off in here. No, no, that's why it's here. Come on. Come on, you got an audience now. Just, just play something. Fine, okay. I'm a little bit rusty, but I'll give it a go. Awesome. You're great at the piano, mate. Absolute legend. Looks like this one's for you. Cheers. Oh, crap. Come over to my place a moment, yeah? Everything okay? Yeah, yeah, sure. We should just uh, just check and see if any of your posters got delivered by mistake. What's this? A bank statement? I'm cleaned out. How am I going to pay for this place without any cash? Without a job? Maybe it's not so bad. Maybe there's something we can do. How much is rent on this place, anyway? Two thousand a month. Could crowdsource it, I suppose. Jesus. For this one-bed place? Well, I guess there's only one thing for it. How long are these boxes gonna be here? Until I can afford to put them in storage. That's all right, isn't it? Can I look for your stuff? No. We need to get real. We've got no money coming in. One of us needs to get a job. Yeah, no offence, but I'm never going to get another games job if I have to use your CV. 25 years working in the same office. Who'd hire me? 
Why don't you get your old job back, Dad? Yeah, Shazzy was saying I haven't found anyone to cover your casework. Well, there is actually an opening, but it's for a senior position. I can't just waltz in there with Jack's CV and expect a job. I bet we can blag it. Come on, I'll write the cover letter. You know, biggie up a bit. You're going to have to sort your look out, Dad. No one's going to hire you if you dress like that. Money's right. Got to get you spruced up and all dapper. 90% of acing and interviews all about wearing a sharp suit. Shit. <sighs> ah, it's all right. Square. Previously on Last Stop. I want to give Amy another. Miss Hughes, we've been over the data gathered from our previous examination, and we've called you back in as we want a little more clarity on a certain issue. It's important that you answer honestly, as we need to calibrate our expectations. I don't keep secrets for her. She's a grown-up girl. I like your wedding ring, by the way. No, please! Miss Hughes? Uh, sorry? Well, does it? Sorry, can you repeat the question, please? That's okay. I think we have what we need. I can answer another one. Have a good day. Jail call 4128. Jail call 4128. Hughes, join us. Mina, you've just had your second exam. How'd it go? Fine. I was just telling Amy how impressed I was with her results. Seriously stellar work. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. I'll be looking forward to reviewing yours, too. Uh... That's me. I gotta run. Amy. Hughes. Best of luck, Mina. I can't believe I'm up against a legend like you. Now cut the crap. If you want this, then don't try and be my friend. We're enemies in this. Act like one. Okay. I'm playing this like I've got nothing to lose. So back off. we weren't doing this anymore. I need to talk to you. The other day I got left a note on my front doorstep. A threatening note. Someone knows about us and is trying to use it against me. Someone's blackmailing you. So that's why you ended this. I told you not to tell Wendy about us. <laughs> Are you kidding me? My daughter isn't a blackmailer. I mean, it doesn't matter now anyway. 
You can tell her we're over, and then she can drop it. In fact, let me just talk to her. <sighs> Look, there's no way I'm letting you accuse her of something like that. I think you should leave. Just tell me where I can find her. We'll have a friendly chat, and that'll be the end of it. <sighs> can you hear yourself? I'm done with this. Stay away from my daughter, okay? You said you were going to be home at seven. Not even a text. This isn't good, Mina. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know how many times I can keep putting up with the same excuses. It's, it's, it's boring. You're right. It is. It's like you don't care. Look, I'm sorry. I'll do better next time. How many times have I heard that? I mean, seriously, it's, it's like I'm getting mugged off here. <laughs> it's every single night now. Have you finished? Yes. Your dinner's in the oven. It'll be cold by now. It's all right. I already ate anyway. Oh, fine. Well, I won't bother cooking for you next time in that case. Sounds good to me. Oh, you can piss off. Wanker! What the hell is wrong with you? The next station is Salt Cellar Lane. Previously on Last Stop. Mum's not well. She's been having some tests. Hey, felt like joining me on my shift, did you? Nah, just wanted to talk to you and Viv while we're all together. About what? Let's just wait till we get there. Oh yeah, how was Moise's party? It was okay. Got a bit druggy in the end. Oh, right. Oh yeah, did you end up asking Viv out? You hear about Moise and Tina going at it on his dad's car? Mental. <laughs> Everyone's getting some action at the moment. What's that mean? Oh, nothing. Chips, Donna. Less talk, more chips. Ah, oh, look at you two. Bunking again. What, have you dropped out or something? Yeah, what are you both doing? Bet you think you're both so cool. It's none of your business. Shut up, Donna. It's complicated. Yeah, looks it. 
Come on, Mary. Let's leave these wasters to it. Can you believe those two? Leave it. I've just about enough of all of this. Uh, we all have, not just you. Oh, shut up. Let's just get some food and go. doing? I... You, you saw that, right? Are you all right? I can't remember. Right. Well, if you want to stay and bang on this door... Are you sure you didn't... We're going, or what? Yeah. Any other doors you want to knock on on the way? You really didn't see the stranger go into his house. You're actually weirder than I thought. Why aren't you going to get some chips or something? Maybe stick your head in the deep fat fryer while you're at it. Funny. It was closed anyway. <laughs> you know what I think? I think you've got a thing for that stranger. What? Oh, shut up. I've seen that little twinkly you get in your eye when you look at him. I bet you wanted to get into his house, look through his dirty laundry, sniff his pan. Oh, you're sick, you know that. This coming from you, the weirdest girl in school. Don't be an asshole your entire life. Ooh, you're hard. You know, for someone who's got a potential assault charge hanging over their head, you're awfully irritating. I'm irritating. You should listen to some of the shit that comes out of your mouth. Literally don't know why I bother hanging out with you. You're just upset because you weren't invited to Moise's house party. Does it look like I care? I can't believe it. He's right where we left him. I don't get it. Who was meant to be guarding him? You were. Wait, that doesn't make sense. You are truly losing it. Well, if I was supposed to be guarding him, why didn't you say something earlier? This is stupid and a complete waste of time. We're guarding a moron who can't even speak and we're worried that he can dob us into the police. I'm out of here. Wait, he can speak. Alan, say something. This is embarrassing. You can look after your imaginary friend on your own from now on. What do you mean? I'm bored. And I'm done. Later. Great. Well, piss off then. Why didn't you say anything? Oh, so you're not talking to me anymore either? Would you mind doing me a favour? There's something down in the basement of this building that I would like you to take a look at. The basement? The door over there is open if you wouldn't mind. You know, you need to work on your soft skills. We'll talk about that later. Oi! 
Why? You didn't say it was pitch black in here. What's the deal? Nothing down there but some rats. My mistake. Donna, let me ask you a question. Do you still have that photograph you took of me? What? Uh, yeah, it's on my phone. Look, I haven't got time for this. Why? You know why. Mum's ill. I need to be spending time with her and helping Emma out around the house more. You need to be here. No. Come on, what are we doing here? This has gone on long enough. Why don't you just go? Here, I'll untie you. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Why? You're going to bash my head in? <laughs> Whatever. Stay here if you want. Donna, don't pretend you don't want to be here. I know you. I've got to go. Hello? Mum? Anyone about? Don Adelaide here. Speaking. Miss Adelaide here. It's Longmead Hospital. We need you to come in. What's wrong? It's your mum. I'm afraid it's serious. How soon can you get here? Oh. 